Hey guys, I am here somewhere. Um, so I'm going to be making a vegan shepherd's pie as per promise. I tried to change the camera angle so you can kind of see what I'm doing, but that's why you can't see me in the meantime. It feels so silly. Yes, I'm in my pyjamas. Yes, again, it's cold and I find pyjamas and dressing gowns warm. Um, yes, I could put the heating on, but uh, on a budget dot com <laughs> so we try and put the heating on as late as possible so yeah i've measured everything out and let's get started so just puts the pan on for heat so it says you need like a tablespoon of olive oil but i only have sunflower oil so tough shit sunflower oil it is let that heat up for a little bit. Then you need one small leek finely chopped. Let's chuck that in. And one parsnip diced. One carrot diced. And some celery thinly sliced. And you need one tablespoon of herbs the province. That's half a tablespoon. And that's one tablespoon. Give them a mix or a stir and wait for the veggies to soften. Okay, so add the garlic and half the balsamic vinegar. So you need two cloves of garlic and one tablespoon of balsamic vinegar. And you've got to season that and cook for 10 minutes. So two twists of pepper and maybe a quarter of a teaspoon of sea salt flakes. Just guessing. When you season, it's always to your taste. So I just always guess. So I'm gonna cook this for 10 minutes now. Okay, so that's been cooking away lovely for the last 10 minutes. So now on to the next step. We have to Add the tin of chopped tomatoes. So that's my tin from Aldi's. Nothing special, just basic tin of chopped tomatoes. Tablespoon of tomato puree. 100 mils of water. The remaining of the balsamic vinegar. So that's another tablespoon. A teaspoon of marmite and a teaspoon of sugar. So that's half a teaspoon. It's a full teaspoon. I have no idea whether sugar is necessary. Bring that to the simmer. Obviously mix it all in. Simmer for 20 minutes. Adding a little more water now and then to loosen the sauce. I didn't feel I needed to do that last time I cooked this. And um, then crushing the tomatoes further with the back of a spoon. That's not something that I did either. I just don't see the need of it personally. But obviously everybody's got different flavours, different ideas of how they want their texture, mixture to look. I... I'm not fussy about texture. I feel like the texture that we've currently got going on is okay. And obviously it gets a little bit thicker as we simmer it down for the next 20 minutes. So just give all of that a nice good stir through, make sure the sugar's mixed through, the balsamic vinegar's mixed through, the marmite's mixed through, just so it's not all in like a glob. And we've got all the flavours running through every part of it. So I need to leave that simmer for the next 20 minutes. So while that is 
simmering, I will tidy up. Okay, so that's been bubbling away lovely for about 20 minutes now. So the next thing, in the meantime, we should have been boiling the mash, the sweet potatoes from the mash, which I've been doing. And now we've got to drain them and mash them with the vegan margarine. So you need one teaspoon of vegan margarine. I'm using Vitalite. Very rare do I ever mash my potatoes either. I always use like a hand blender because I like my potatoes to be more like puree, which is personal preference. So you need to season that. So just maybe one twist of black pepper and a quarter of a teaspoon of sea salt flakes. And then you need to stir through the mustard. So you need one heat teaspoon of Dijon mustard. So I've only got dried dill, so I'm going to guess at maybe like, I don't know, half a teaspoon, so that's quarter, and that's half. If you want to go crazy, because I'm assuming they mean for you to use fresh dill, of which I don't have any. So you need to mix all of that through um, and set aside. So you need to preheat the oven to gas mark four, drain and rinse the lentils. So you need a tin of green lentils. So I've already drained those. And then add them to your shepherd's pie mix. And you need a 150 grams of frozen peas. Add those in also and then cook for a further five minutes. So crank the heat back up on this. So now I'm gonna transfer it into this dish. And then spoon on the mash. Just get that all spread nicely with the back of a fork. Okay. And then you need to pop that into the oven on gas mark four for 20 to 30 minutes um, until it's bubbling. And then you need to remove it and cool for five to 10 minutes before serving. And that is it.